And these soldiers, why is it so hot? Vancouver weather has been playing with us because last week it got cold. So I was so excited. I brought out all my fall clothes and I put away all my tank tops. And I thrifted a bunch of fall items. And then this week it's back to being like 26 degrees. Now I can't wear any of the things that I thrifted because they're all utterly inappropriate for the current weather. So I put back on a t-shirt and did a little uh, pumpkin spice makeup look to make myself feel better this week. So that's right, you heard me. We're gonna do a fall thrift haul and I am so excited because first of all, I mean this is an accumulative haul from like three times, but the last time I went got the majority of this stuff. The thrifting fairies came through, and by thrifting fairies I mean some of my friends who also went with me. Also, my brows came out exceptional today, and if you thought that I was not filming with a brow like this, you would be dead wrong. Oh, and I tried a different filming setup earlier when I was filming the try-on clips, so fingers crossed that this works, and I can just insert clips here, uh, and it's not just gonna be a big old mess. As always, let's go from least exciting to most exciting, and the most exciting thing is quite exciting indeed. You have You'll just have to stick around for the rest of the video, find out what it is. But something equally beautiful that I picked up is this beautiful, for some reason, 100% silk blouse from Forever 21. Stepping up their game just in time to go under. So this blouse is like the most gorgeous vintage couch that I want to put on my body. Like I said, 100% silk. And that is going to be a theme of today's video, oddly enough, but it is so... It's just so pretty and it goes really nice with my skin tone. It has this nice little satin detail on it with all the roses inside. It goes with my tattoo. I think it's very beautiful and I can't wait to incorporate this into more things in my wardrobe. Oh, I didn't think this through. I should have buttoned all these beforehand and made everything pretty. But here we are. Next up is another blouse that you've already seen me wear, I think, in some video. And that is this amazing Shakespearean poet pirate blouse. Look at that sleeve! Putting this on made me feel like I was ready to write poetry or swashbuckle, and sometimes that's the mood I'm in. I'm gonna have to be a little careful because I feel like if I style this wrong, it's either gonna go into hobbit or pirate territory very fast. Which, pirates, again, is another theme we're gonna be seeing again in this video. But you know I can't resist a good sleeve, so I'm hoping with some printed pants or maybe like a, like a tighter skirt, we'll be able to make this a little bit less hobbit and a little bit more like... Elizabeth Swan, who's stolen Will's shirt. You know, that's an aesthetic all to itself. And I suppose to go on top of those, or something like I'm wearing right now, is this beautiful black blazer. But this fits me so incredibly well. I am honestly quite shocked, and it's in beautiful condition, and it just feels really nice. Even putting it on in the try-on clip, I felt like a boss babe in the boardroom, and not like an MLM version, like a real boss-ass bitch. And that's a mood, you know, dress the job you want. I just think it's so classy and like I am moving into a more mature style and like I love dress pants, I love blazers and just, oh, it's just gonna be perfect for fall. So something for some reason that I thrifted a lot of in the last couple weeks is a lot of robes. Don't ask me why, not necessarily went looking for them, but they just happened to appear and you know, I am not one to ignore fate. We're gonna loop this back around to that silk comment that I made earlier because I found this beautiful, beautiful, it just looks like a black blob. <laughs> it's a long black silk robe, okay? Trust me. Oh, it's so beautiful. This, surprisingly, is also from Forever 21, so like, I am winning over here. Again, it wasn't something I was looking for, but my hand just found it on the rack, and it was like, <gasps> I don't know what this is, but I'm getting it. So now I have this long, beautiful black silk robe that, I don't know, I guess I could lounge around in. Cosplay is Edna Mode. To which I say, ES capes. Another thing I've already worn that I very much so enjoy wearing is this really cool couch print, Chinese collar, long cardigan thing. Honestly, this garment confuses me a little because it has this mandarin collar with buttons down the front, and it has this pattern that should be on a plate from some duchess in the 1800s. I don't know what Jessica was going for with this design, but whatever it is, I like it. It swooshes very dramatically in the wind, which is something very important to me. It's nice, you know? It's a good transition piece into fall. Like, you put this over jeans and a t-shirt, and then you're ready to go because it's like pure polyester and very, very warm. <laughs> then, one of the trips I took with my friend Morella, uh, she found me this robe, and I don't know if I've ever wanted to marry anybody more than I did in that moment when she held this gorgeous thing up. Do you see- look- uh, uh, <laughs> Excuse me? Ma'am. I think I wore this in a video that I already published, so. Spoiler alert. This thing is real long, which is fantastic for me, a tall person. It has the most beautiful sleeves in this blue crushed velvet. 
Uh, I feel like this is the robe I would answer the door to when my rich husband mysteriously goes missing. Either that or it's what I'm wearing over silk pajamas when Vogue comes to my door to do those like 73 questions about me being like an amazing international model book blogger. So while this is stunning, sheer, and very sexy, I've also learned that it's really warm. <laughs> So I guess this is more of a fall outfit than I originally thought. Who knew? All right, now we get into one of my favorite things to wear and buy, and that is pants. Oh, and what's that? What? What's that? Oh, these are silk too. Oh, three for three. I bought these when I took a weekend trip to Victoria with some of my friends. And um, while I was there, I completely just tore the button off and I haven't gotten around to sewing it back on. Puffy, tapered, high-waisted silk pants in this beautiful army green and there's a surprise fleece line layer inside so they're actually very warm which is great for fall because they look like they're something I would wear in the summer but surprise surprise I'm actually a cozy little cucumber. And then I am always on the hunt for high-waisted wide leg pants. They're my favorite things to wear. And I found these. <laughs> Rachel, these look exactly like pants you already own. It's true, I do own these, but in brown, they're different. These are some stunning trousers that, to be fair, are a little bit big on me, but it's fine, we'll pop a few stitches in there. These are the pants of my dark academia style dreams. Like, that's slowly what my style is turning into. It's like, business witch gets herself an education. I know all thrifters feel this way when you get something that's like a really high-end brand name for something pretty cheap. So like, these are originally Babaton pants. And I have a pair that I bought from Babaton at full price that I'm not ready to admit how much I spent on. Uh, but I got these for like, um, math, hold on, like, um, well, less than a tenth of the price, I'll say that. <laughs> oh, what I almost forgot, it was like finding something all over again at the bottom of this thrift pile. And seeing how it's October, it's very apropos for the season. And there's this beautiful black swishy skirt. Can you hear it? Ooh, that's some good ASMR. Yet again, it just looks like a blob on camera, but try on portion. Ooh, wow, oh, so fancy. It is actually quite big, and I couldn't try it on because the Valley Village does not have open change rooms still. So this is the only one that I actually DIY'd, and I just put a little button closure in it to make it fit me. It is a bit fancy for every day, but you know what? It's swooshy, and it makes me feel witchy. I love myself a good statement piece, and seeing as this, this is black, long, witchy, swooshy, those are all words I want to think when I look in my closet. Like when I show up in the skirt, I want people to be like, did she just come from a fancy event or like a coven meeting? Okay, so now we have two items left that are the most exciting things. One of them is a dress and one of them is a coat. So we shall start with the dress because God bless my friends that I went thrifting with because my friend Melissa found me the cottage core dress of my dreams. I know I just said my style is like dark academia, but this is like business witch on a vacation, like uh, like springtime dark academia, you know? This with like some boots and a dark lip, it will make it work. It's just such a lovely dress. It's a beautiful color and this little ditzy floral pattern and it actually has a hidden crinoline underneath it so that makes it bigger and swooshier and there are two things that are very important to me. Swoosh and pockets. And this dress has a lot of swoosh. No pockets though. But I feel like the swoosh makes up for the pockets in this very particular circumstance. I'll have to alter it a little bit because it doesn't quite fit me properly but I do not care. But that's gonna take like two minutes. I'm like, do you see me in this? Come on, look how happy I am. And lastly, we're gonna bring that pirate ship theme back around because the last thing I got is a coat that to me is a little piratey, which is I guess where my style is going. We're going dark academia business witch who is a pirate in her spare time. So my final piece is this beautiful green corduroy coat. Don't know how it's gonna show up on camera, but look at that color and that texture. Ooh, this just screams fall. When I tried this on, none of the friends I went with liked it, but you know what, I don't care. I look freaking amazing, look at that. We got some cool buttons and some little silver flashy flashy hardware and it's very warm and very long and it's green and it's so soft and it's just, ugh. Oh, I'm so happy with this purchase. In case you couldn't tell, I like some gender blending fashion. Like I like some menswear inspired pants and some blazers and this oversized long coat is just it's just so perfect, you know? I saw it and I needed to have it. And at an affordable price too. There you have it. There is my entire ginormous thrift haul of things. Oh, 
This is a good fall haul, let me tell you. Eh. Oh god, cleaning this up is gonna be a disaster. But <laughs> at least I already filmed the trying clips. How is it already October? That seems fake. I don't know how we got here or what time is anymore, but we've made it this far. And I guess I'm just gonna go into the rest of October with a banging wardrobe that I'm not gonna be able to wear anywhere because we're still in quarantine. That is okay. I will be fashionable in my own home. I will wear my blazer to my desk. Um, I will wear that extravagant robe to the grocery store. I will film fashion TikToks. <laughs> Please leave down below what your favorite item was or if you have any tips on like how to style some of these things. Like, pretty sure the robes are gonna be like inside wear, but then again, that velvet one is very warm, so it depends how cold it gets. Maybe I'll just enter into October chaos mode and go full pirate whenever I leave the house from now on. Although maybe not, because I'm sweating really hard. It's only like 11 a.m. You know where I clicked like the video. You know where I clicked to subscribe. I hope you guys are all having a nice day wherever you are, and I will see you all next week. Bye!